welcome back to another awesomeness production and today I will be showing you how to uh, add a button to a GUI as well as coloring that button or any text in a while coding so today we're going to be working on uh, so the, so how to create a rage quit button and I will show you what that looks like I've already made a uh, rage quit button on my um, modding my personal modding that I do and I have added some other buttons but uh, once you make one button it's pretty easy to make another one you know I figured out how to do this by myself so it's not that hard um, should be reopening should be Is it opening alright uh, supposedly it doesn't like me for some reason but uh let's hopefully let's see what happens. Let's close this. No. And that didn't work. Coding modding one second. Why isn't this working? Uh sh yes, now it's working. Alright, good. Alright, so this is some of the coding I've done, and I'll show you what it looks like already. If you pr may have come here from uh, another YouTuber called, his name is Josh Rock Zero Yes, and uh, he was using that mod in his Spleef videos, and so here's some things that I did. And I'm running this through Eclipse right now, so. Uh, that's why I'm not zoomed in like I usually am when I'm playing Minecraft. And I'm okay. I'm dead. As you can see here, this has a rage quit button. And, uh. Yes, I was just playing around with this. But, uh. Alrighty. So, some of the things I added in here, which are possible to add in, are, uh. So, this is currently glitched. Actually, what the heck? What is that? I'm not, this is supposed, this somehow got glitched and now says direct connect, but it usually says texture packs and it takes you to your texture pack folder. Not quite sure why it says direct connect, but uh, yes. But uh, this does take you to your texture pack folder. It's just the name is glitched. Um, oops. So, uh, now, uh, I'm gonna show you another thing I had in, is the, let's see, I don't know, it didn't work. So, let's just, easy way. See, now I added this multiplayer button, which takes you to your multiplayer. This does not work currently, hopefully eventually. And, uh, this is glitched, so I will have to restart my MCP. I mean, my uh, no. Minecraft. So one second. All right. So I open my Minecraft again, and uh, now see if we go in here, go back. Uh, basically, we have a rage quit button that I made, and you, as you can see, it's red. And I'll show you how to make that color when you're put adding a button or any other way you would like to color text so it ha uh. you obviously a rage quit button closes your minecraft and that's what it does so now I'll show you how to add a button in so let's go so I'm back on my uh, you know the MCP that we were using and you see that there is a uh, little danger sign there caution sign I guess it is uh, that doesn't actually mean anything so don't have to worry about that uh... yeah so what you can do is you go to you can type G and it'll take you to you know all the G's and go down till you find GUI and figure out what GUI you wanna uh... change for example uh... like the like we're gonna i'm gonna show you how to make the rage whip button so you wanna go to the game over GUI game over and this is uh, these are all the buttons as you can see the respawn title screen 
and this is uh, if you want to if the, if you're on a on a uh, multiplayer server you know it's it's leave ser there's also the leave server button instead of uh, yeah uh, and also there's the delete world if you have if you're on hardcore and yes okay so uh, now I'm gonna show you how to add this in so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down here and uh, copy the G this line of text here and you press control C you know as you do and paste it and then change this to whatever you want so we're gonna want it to be rage quit and put a little exclamation mark and uh, so we're gonna have to change this so what it usually I do is I figure out what the uh, how it's increasing. So it's 24, I think, is it's increasing by. Yeah, 24. So what you want to do is add 24 to this, which would be uh, 120. So like that, and then so what you do is you click up here the run button. And if and you click that, you click uh, this is just means saving it. So make sure that's checked, and click OK. It's loading, and then single player. Just because this is a different MCP, that's why I have no. Uh, let's make sure. Uh, wait. All right. Create the world, and it's building, train. And as you can see down here, this is the log. If just uh, if you're wondering what that was, and uh, all right. So now when I kill myself, there you see there's a rage quit button. Currently, it takes you back to the title screen because you copied this line of code here. So what you have to do is change this from two to three. And then go down here and copy this. Click Control C. Uh, then double tap down and then go paste it. Change this to three. And then what you have to do is uh, so now you want to delete all you want to delete two of these it doesn't matter which two and then you have this two and now for the rage quit button I need to know uh, the this statement here it's a the statement here uh, I think it's a statement I don't know but uh, you have to find the, the uh, rage quit this is just disconnecting from the the thing so what you have to go do is think about it where closing your Minecraft is. Think about it. So if you go go visually through your in your brain to where you would find it. So you you start on the title screen and there's single player, multiplayer, texture packs. Then there's the language button and there's also quit. So we have to go and find the uh, uh, the main menu. So you go to the GUI main menu and you go here. Scroll down until you find the the um, these until you find the the this dot mc and then find that. So what you want to look for is this dot mc and then uh, shut down or whatever you're trying to look for. You know, like open texture packs folder. You know, display GUI screen of texture packs folder. So if we if we want it, so just all you have to do is copy this. Press Control C go back here and exchange this for the mc dot shutdown and then you run it and click OK and now it's running alright So now, or so remember before how it would take us to the title screen. Screen now it should shut down. Like I said. Now, uh, yes. So 
now yeah uh and if you want to, now if you're that's all you wanted to know then you can leave the video now but if you want to know how to color the text then what you yeah, just keep watching so if you're leaving now thanks for watching so far but now you want to change the color of this and remember how i had it red before so uh so what how did how you do it is you go and here it is now I'll look up minecraft color codes and if you think i'm spelling color wrong i am canadian so exactly so these are the color codes and you see this weird s thing uh so how you make that s thing is you when you're on a pc like i am you press alt and then make sure numlock is checked and then alt 21 if numlock is not checked it will do alt con control alt delete which will run the thing either and if you're on a mac oops crap that was that was a fail uh and if you're on a mac just uh copy the s here i'm not quite sure how to do it on mac but uh i want to make this red so remember there's so you look here and these are all the colors and press you do there's four so what you do is you put the four here and then you run minecraft again click ok single player respawn and now it's red so uh yep that's how you do it and you could do this to anything the only problem with this is that it may cause uh because you're editing the base class which means it's already uh it's already in minecraft and anyone could edit that class it me it just means that it may not be compatible with all mods but most mods don't edit base classes because for the exact reason that it may not be incompatible may be incompatible with other mods so usually it's not but if you use this if you use your mod and you, for some reason it's not working it's probably because it's incompatible with another mod that ed edits the same class file and uh yep that's pretty much it so i can't think of anything else so thanks for watching and have a great day or night whatever time it is so bye